Hey everyone, welcome back to the three minute story challenge. This is week four, Love and Relationships. And I'm so excited to have my good friends on, Dave Megan, Krista Bridges. Hello. Hello. Hello friends, how are you? So good, how are you? Good, good, it's, it's, it's great to see you. Um, so when I was thinking of themes for the story challenge, I was like, well, I gotta talk about love and relationships because I need Dave and Krista on the show. And you have such an amazing story because Krista, you, you're American, Dave, you're Scottish. And there's been a, what is probably a seven, eight year or more odyssey of getting you guys in the same place so you can be together with visas and countries, all this different stuff. So it'll be a double stuff episode today. We're going to go longer than three minutes. There's two of them. It's going to be the six minute story challenge. How's that sound? Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Cool. So I'm going to start my timer here and we are going to go now. Okay, so I'm going to tell the story of how we met. Uh, the very short version is Krista and I met on a bus tour around Ireland, but we didn't really speak to each other. Um, however, for about 18 months after that, we were chatting backwards and forwards on Facebook. And during that time, we um, organized a road trip for me around New England, and Krista had decided to come along as well. So uh, by the time that I got on the plane, obviously 18 months of chatting backwards and forwards, I kind of already knew that I was in a bit of trouble. And I was sort of on the plane thinking, <laughs> wouldn't it be great if there was something fundamentally flawed about her? Because otherwise, I, I think I quite like this girl. So she picked me up from the airport. And to be honest, by the time she'd driven me to my hotel to drop me off, I knew I was in trouble. Um, so we did this road trip around New England. Really liked her, but didn't want to mess anything up. Didn't say anything. <laughs> so I anyway, left to go back to, the, uh, to Scotland. But I had invited Kristen and said, why don't you come at Hogmanay and, and, you know, we'll have a big, That's New Year's big for street party. That's New Year's, for those that don't know. <laughs> uh, so it's a great time. So we did that. She came back. Again, a lovely time. And it got to the last day. And I was like, I kind of have to say something. I can't carry on and pretend like we're just mates here. Like, I've got to say kind of how I feel. So I did. I went, look, you don't have to react to this. You don't have to say anything. I'm just putting it out there. Take your time. Let me know. So nine months go by. <laughs> Now, this isn't, we talked. This isn't, we talked. yeah, this isn't nine months where, she, where we weren't every day, every two days, every three days, um, but nothing, no, no mention of this. So we'd agreed for me to go back to the States for uh, Thanksgiving, and I, just before, so this is like 10 months later or whatever. This is 2014. I, yeah, 2014. Okay. And I'd said to Chris, you know that thing I said nine months ago, have you, you thought about it? Is there any sort of answer there? And she was like, yeah, it's just really difficult for me to find the words. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, so anyway, I went across to the States and eventually, again on the last day, Krista said, yeah, actually, I also have feelings for you more than just friendship. And we were like, oh, I don't know, what does that mean? What do we do? Like, where do we go from here? We um, live in different countries. Exactly. So it was, I think Christmas, she'd sent a, a card to me that came a little bit late. Um, and it had like that, well, I'm reliable. So was it Iraq? I, I don't, I can't remember. I just remember getting the card. But I, I'm reliably informed as the sort of thing that teenage girls would pass each other in high school saying like, you know, I really like you. Do you want to go on a date? Tick yes, no, maybe. And, um, and it was at that point, so it was very early in 2015. We just went, right, let's, let's just try and make this work. Don't know how, but let's just try and make it work. So, so that was it. It was, uh, it was a lot of waiting and a lot of not knowing and a lot of, just trying to be friends, but um, it, it, we, couldn't, we couldn't stop it. We couldn't stop the love. <laughs> so that was 2015? January, January 2015. So that's <clears throat> exclusive girlfriend day in Dave's calendar and always has been. Still. Um, January 6th? Yep. I should know this. We had to fill out a timeline. <laughs> um, so uh, we were official. And 2015, did the back and forth. Dave came for quite a few visits to America. We went to multiple states to visit friends and family, and he could get the seal of approval from all of the important people in my life. Um, 2015 was also a big year for me. I made the decision to leave marketing and move to London, sell everything I owned, and go back to school for personal training, which also luckily was a way for us to be able to see each other more frequently because I was down in London and Dave took the train down every weekend pretty much to see yeah. me um, and spend the weekend with me, which is amazing. And we got to spend more time and just feel out what living together felt like. Um, but at the end of my um, time with my program, moved back to America and we were back to the long distance thing again. So all the while we're thinking, okay, how do we make this work? How do we get to be in the same place at the same time for a longer period than a weekend or a month? Um, 
because of visa restrictions, all that kind of stuff. So I went back and I was working as a trainer. And meanwhile, we applied, well, I applied for a working holiday visa in Ireland, which is how we met. And um, I was able to apply for that with my personal training diploma. And Dave quit his job at the Law Society so that we could have a chance to live together and cool see thing. what it was like. Yeah, and just, <laughs> again, sold everything we owned, moved to another country and started from scratch. We didn't know a single person in Galway. We met the Dodgeballers who became our family. And then I met you at the tourist office and convinced you to come along to Dodgeball. Um, so Ireland, we, after Ireland, we moved um, again back and forth between the states. And then in October of 2018, we were on our way back to Scotland and I got sent back. Bleh, I got sent back to America. It's still a bit tragic. Like I trip I know, over right. my words when I say it. Um, and they denied me entry to the UK. So we were at this position again. We had already been talking about like what happens next. Are we going to get married? What happens with our visa process? And um, at that point, we decided let's just do it. Let's get married. And Dave in, uh, asked me to marry him over Skype, over Skype. <laughs> with all of its so glitches. So romantic. <laughs> <laughs> sound cutouts um which was lovely and then we had a massive family facetime we got married yeah. in he had to actually propose to me in person in boston we got married in boston in 2018 then went through the long hellish process of the visa application all of the pitfalls and then luckily in july of 2019 i was given the yes and august mm. 2020 here we are um well now it's what what month is it may mm. may 2020 so i've been here for almost a year and we're gonna have a big old celebration for our wedding in december so yeah that's that's the, the awesome. roller coaster in a <laughs> nutshell as fast as we could spit it out <laughs> well done Six, six, slightly six, over, slightly over. It's perfect because I could hear you listen to you guys talk about that for, for I, ever and ever. What I wanted you to tell your story is that it's such a, in my mind, a classical story because it has their ups and downs, your bumps and bruises, right? Right when you think that, oh, this is great, something completely random happens, and then all these obstacles. And it's such an inspiration because you're proving that. When you really care about someone, you love someone, that's bigger than anything in its way, right? Yeah, it sounds like a bit of a cheeser, but like we, <laughs> we, we started out as good friends. Like that yeah. was the whole point. Like, it's based you know, on friendship. You, you sweat about whether or not, like I joke about, about Krista taking nine months, but it was because, you know, it, it was important. We, you know, we didn't want to hurt each other. It wasn't a meaningless thing. You know, we, we cared about each other. And, and, and so when you kind of got that basis, that friendship, then yeah, you can chuck lots of stuff. And then lots of stuff has been chucked at us, but we just keep going on. So yeah, why not? Yeah. Krista, I feel like I owe you a lot because my first week in Galway, I walk into the tourist office and I hear an accent that I recognize and I'm like, oh, I'll wait in line and I'll talk to the, the American. <laughs> and we hit it off and you said, hey, I, you know, I play dodgeball. And in my mind, I'm like, dodgeball? I haven't played dodgeball. <laughs> Great. And I went and had an amazing time, got along so well with Dave, and that was such a huge part of my Ireland experience. And I have friends that I'm, and I know I'm going to know the rest of my life, and that's because you were just so kind and open and saying, hey, you're, you're new here to this country, you're a fellow American, come to dodgeball practice. So thank you, and I'm just so, so grateful for that. Oh, I'm grateful for so our friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Shameless plug, or should I say shameless plugs? There's two of you, so you get two. What do you got? All right, well, I will give a quick one. Um, so we are going to be starting a podcast. So what better way to announce it than on this platform? Um, Jason inviting us to do this story challenge was kind of the kick that we needed to get this off the ground. But we would love to um, talk to other couples that are in similar situations that have done long distance relationships, international relationships, and we will be um, interviewing them and hosting a podcast about it so we can share other people's stories because it's interesting to hear them. So you can email us at myvisaromance at gmail.com and we would love to hear from you. 
And then what's your shameless plug? Uh, so my shameless plug is somewhat embarrassing, but I want no. to give a random shout out to a woman that I've never met called Carrie Mitchell, who has a YouTube channel called Beginner Dance Tutorials. And over the course of the lockdown, we've been learning different dances on this woman's YouTube channel. And it's just been so much fun that, that we wanted to spread the joy and publicly thank her and see if other people would jump on and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, definitely worth a look. You guys are such an, an inspiration um, to me in a lot of ways. And I miss you. I'm so glad that we got to connect. And I've been loving the pub quizzes um, that you've been hosting. Even though I did beat Paul the other day. Which, I believe you. I didn't finish in like the top 20. But I beat Paul, which is all that mattered to me. So thank you, you for that. You in that last round and you took advantage. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you at the end of the year, hopefully. Yes. And uh, stay healthy in Scotland. And uh, I'll talk to you guys thank soon. Thank you for having us. Thank, thank you, Jason. You. Take care. Bye. Bye.